What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? I, 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 How are you doing today? All my dudes, all my boos, all my readers, eaters, all my day ones, all my newbies. How are y'all doing today? Welcome to another episode of See What Readers Cooking. See what readers cooking. I'll see what readers cooking. Hey, I am here with a good one today. But before we get started, I just like to say hey to all my subbies. I would like to tell you to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if you are already subscribed to my channel, I would like to know that you have hit that notification bell so that you will be notified every time I come on here, do a live, do a video. Because my lives, y'all, I done tried a couple of times and waited for y'all like five minutes. Now, honey, I deleted that thing. I ain't be sitting up here by myself with two or three people, child. Mm -mm. So make sure you have your notification bell click so that you know when I'm getting out here doing a live video or doing just a video for your enjoyment. Today on See What Reeves Cooking, we're going to be cooking a beef pot roast. Now, the hardest thing that's going to be about this pot roast is you waiting on it to get ready. Everything else is going to be easy breezy. You kind of just put it in there and you let it go. But I do do a couple of things before I put it in my uh, roasting oven um, that just kind of amps it up a little bit. Read the ties. You know, that's what I'm about. So let's get started. Let's go. Okay, so I have two roasts, y'all, because y'all know roast be clowning. You know, you be thinking you got a lot of roast and then... Um, you end up with nothing. So this is two pot rolls. And I'm going to cook them both. I'm going to get my skillet hot. What I have in my skillet, you guys, is I've got over there about a tablespoon of butter and about a tablespoon, two tablespoons of canola oil. Now, I seared this off before I put it in my slow cooker. Uh, and it elevates the taste, you guys. I very strongly suggest that you do this when you make your roast, okay? What I'm going to be seasoning with is rosemary, thyme, garlic powder, uh, salt, and pepper. That's all I'm going to be using, okay? Let me see. Did I bring my salt and pepper over here? Let me go get it, you guys. Okay, so let's get started. Let's season it. <clears throat> Black pepper. And I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to get it really seasoned and so it'll get a good crust on it. And what I do is I season one side, sear it, uh, let it start searing, and then I season the other side while it's up. You know what I'm saying? I'll show you exactly what I'm saying. This is some rosemary. Okay. I might take one of these to my mom's house. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look at it and see, you know, how it turns out. If they draw up a little lot, a whole lot, or if there's some good pieces of meat or not. Okay. That's rosemary, too. I have a two, um, Rosemary's in two times because uh, both of them are getting on down to the nitty gritty. So I just brought them both out. So that's why I'm uh, picking up double stuff. Okay. I got this big. <laughs> Excuse me, you guys. Okay, so that was time. And this is some garlic powder. Okay. And I'm doing this thick on purpose because I want this to get, like I said, that sear on it before it goes into. Um, the reason why I do this is because um, if you are using a slow cooker or a crock pot, you will not get that sear unless you, after you finish your meat, you take it out and let it sear. But otherwise, you will not get a sear. Okay, so 
Now is the time to get you some color on the meat. Get it to look like you want it to look. You got to have a hot skillet, okay? And I've got one. <laughs> and don't worry, you guys. I always wipe down all of my seasonings with me a, 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 a disinfectant wipe. Because I'm just... I'm at home, I'm not in a restaurant, so I'm just cooking, you know, for my family. But I'm not being nasty or nothing, so don't think that. So this is a hot skillet. I don't know if you can tell. You get those little ripples in your grease, and you know the sucker is ready, okay? So I'm going to go right into this pan. I wanted to take out my other one and do both of these at the same time, but I just didn't have the energy. To do that. Now the meat is cold still, so you know you got to make sure that that shit is hot. And then you go ahead and you season this side with your same seasoning, okay? Salt, pepper, rosemary, thyme, garlic powder. Okay, same one. This is an extra step and you know it's worth it though because you don't have to do a lot to this once you got it in your slow cooker or in the oven you just leave it alone you opening it up and closing it up and doing all that you just leave it be okay while that's here so let me show you something that I have going on on the other side over here. Let's see if I can turn you guys to my oh. over here where I have my slow cooker. I got stuff going across the floor now. That's like a little taking me a long time to do this. Okay. So this is my slow cooker, you guys. Right. And I have her on 250 degrees. Now this thing goes all the way up to 450 just like the oven does, okay? So right now, this is just empty. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to put like a half a cup of water in the bottom of here. And I'm going to be putting my um, my carrots and my potatoes down here a little bit, okay? Now I'm not going to put, I'm going to put a little bit because the meat is going to make a um, liquid, okay? And we're going to be using that liquid at the end of this process. So let me go ahead on and just put those in there. Now, the potatoes that I like to use when I'm doing a roast um, is the Yukon potatoes. This is a 32-ounce bag of baby carrots and a whole, I think, a five-pound bag of Yukon potatoes. I'm just going to pour it right in here. Now, I'm not going to season it because we are seasoning the meat so liberally. Okay, we're seasoning the meat very liberally. And the meat is going to be right on top of that. So it's just going to be going down in there. So let's check on our meat and see how it's doing. 
You need about six to seven minutes to get you a good sear on there. So let's check it out. Yeah, exactly what I want to look like, you guys. Doesn't that look beautiful? Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Let's see. All right, let's show you. Okay, nothing. The hardest thing we're going to be doing is searing this. And if you decide not to do this, you don't have to do this. You can just season your meat just like we did at the beginning and put it right into your uh, oven or your slow cooker or whatever right on top of your potatoes. But I promise you, if you stir this meat off one time, you will do it like this from forever. <laughs> I promise you. I promise you. It's worth the five to seven minutes that it takes. Okay? Once we get this into the uh, crock pot or the slow cooker, in my case, the roasting oven, like I said, I have it on 250 degrees. Uh, I'm going to put that top down on there and I'm going to leave it. It will be slow cooking for at least eight hours, okay? In the last hour, I will come back to show you guys what I do. That's when I usually put my onions and bell peppers and make my gravy out of the juices. So I will be coming back and showing you guys how I do that and then I will show you the end result. So right now, all we're doing is stirring this off. I'm gonna get a good sear on both sides and I'm gonna sear the other piece of meat. And that's all she wrote for now. I'm gonna put one of them in there so you guys can see. Now I just lay it on top of there. And let that cook just a couple more minutes. I'm gonna stir the other one up and then I'll show you how I put them in the roasting oven. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, hey y'all. I have seared off my roast. Let me show you how beautiful they are. Let's see, can you see? Let me turn this camera down instead of holding my meat up. Because if I drop my meat on the ground, y'all going to see me kiss it up to God. And I hate to do that. So let me <laughs> let y'all see it. See that? See those beauties? Aren't those beautiful? I seared them all on the sides as well. And you can tell they're not done. They're just seared off, okay? So, all I'm going to do with these now is I'm going to put them right into my roasting oven. Now, let me explain something to you guys. If you're going to be cooking a roast at uh, 350 degrees, you can cook your roast for 35, 30 to 35 minutes per pound. So, that's how you know if you're just going to be doing a quick roast, okay? I'm going to be doing a slow roast. So I'm going to turn this all the way down to 200 degrees and uh, because these are like uh, six pound uh, roast. And when you do it at 200 degrees and you're going to be uh, doing a slow roast, it's 200 degrees and it's an hour per pound, okay? So that's how you kind of know. 350 degrees is 35 minutes per pound on your roast and an hour, um, 200 degrees is uh, an hour per pound. And this is just going right on top of our beautiful um, carrots and potatoes, you guys. I'm gonna pour all of these good old bits, bits in here, okay? I'm gonna even get the bits out of the pan. I'm pouring all of that good stuff right down on top of here, okay? Let me go on this side. Okay, I'm just going to pour it right down here. Nothing hard, okay? Oh, I hate to use my fork on that, y'all. I hate the way that sounds. Okay? And that is all we have to do. We're going to cover this and we're going to leave it covered. We're 
not going to peep in it. You don't need to be looking at it. You don't need to be opening the top and closing the top. You're just going to leave it be. Okay? I'm going to go to bed. The next time you guys see me, I will be putting my onions and bell peppers in here. And I will only have an hour of uh, cook time left. I won't mess with this until I get out of church. It's 12 o'clock midnight right now. And I'll probably be messing with this for the last time at about noon tomorrow. So, um, I uh, implore you to please do this uh, searing process on your roast. You will thank me later. I promise you will. But I will be back when I'm ready to put the onions and bell peppers in. And when I'm ready to show you how I make a gravy using the juices that we're going to have from this roast. I'm going to use these juices with some cornstarch and I'm going to make a gravy that way, okay? So I will see you guys in a little while. Bye-bye. Good night. Okay, y'all. So, hey, I, I am back. Uh, going to do a little something before I go to church. So let me show y'all something that I'm going to do now at this last uh, part of my cooking process. As you can see, my roast is done pretty much, you know. It's done, okay. So it's been cooking about, at this point, y'all see it, about 10 hours. All the vegetables are, the potatoes and carrots are good and tender and delicious, okay. So that's that. Can y'all see that? Right. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm going to make me a gravy, a little base that I like to do. So um, what I do is I take a cup of that juice that's in the bottom of the um, pan from my roast, like a cup. I take a cup of that juice right here, right? That is straight the renderings and the juice from the pot that I cooked my roast in. Okay, and then I take a cup of, sorry, I'm writing out face. This thing is so close, Jesus. A cup of beef broth, okay? And then I mix that in, okay? Just a cup of beef broth, right from the store, right? Put it in with my renderings from my roast, okay? Right here. It's got the juice. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make me a kind of like a roux, I guess. Okay? I'm going to use some, uh, some um, cornstarch. I'm going to start with a table, heaping tablespoon into that uh, broth, okay? And I'm just going to keep on adding tablespoons until I have a thick, thick enough um, gravy. So see what it does? You just start adding that in there, right there, just like that. You know, get those little clumps out. This is what you do the last hour or so of cooking. I'm going to give me a fork. Okay. So that was one tablespoon, and I just keep on adding tablespoons until I get me a mixture that I like, okay? So I know that I'm probably going to do at least two more, so I'm just going to go ahead on and do two more, okay? I'm just going to be stirring this in just like this, you guys. I'm trying not to get this all over my clothes. Let me get a fork, get the whisk in this a little bit. Okay, and I'm just going to do just like this until I get me a little mixture going. This is two cups, right? A cup of the renderings and a cup, cup of beef stock. Let me go down on here a little bit so y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, great. Here we go. I'm trying to get my clothes dirty, y'all. Y'all see I'm already dressed. I'm dressed for church. Okay. So this is two cups of liquid, and I've got three cups, I mean three tablespoons of cornstarch, okay? And I'm getting it to 
You don't want it to be stiff. Because it's going to stiffen up, okay? I'm just getting it to a consistency like that I like. Yeah. And then I'm just going to pour it right over this thing, this whole thing, just like this. Okay? Then I'm going to go and I'm going to fill this up with water. Just about two cups as well, okay? Give me some water. And I'm going to pour this over the, the roast as well. Can you see that? Right? Pour this right over there too, okay? Because what I want, you guys, I want a gravy, but I don't want it to be thick. You know, I want it to just be good. You know, just a, just a gravy. Okay, can you see that? Let me see. I'm trying to... This thing on the phone, you guys, is a little bit difficult for me. But it, it works. Can you see that? Okay, this is just going to thicken up. I still have my um, roasting oven on 200 degrees, okay? So at this point, you guys, my potatoes are tender. My uh, roast is uh, done. You know, I'm going to put in a, I have two small bell peppers that I have cut into strips. I'm going to put them in there, strips like that. And I have one small onion that I've cut into strips as well. And I'm going to put that in there. And the reason why I do this the last hour is because these vegetables get uh, pretty mushy. Even if you were going to do uh, some... Uh, some what do you call it um celery this would be the best time to do that okay and then i'm going to ramp this um i'm to see this it looks so good can you see that then i'm gonna ramp um the this up to like 250 and then I won't mess with it until we're ready to eat it. But I want, um, I'm going to get these vegetables down in here in the liquid. Am I showing y'all? Yeah. I'm going to get these down in here in my liquid. Okay. And if you want to, you can have your, your, uh, your um, gravy all the way up over your uh, meat. However you want to do. It's just a preference. I just like it to have some some gravy, you know. It's not a gravy boat or a gravy show, but I do want some gravy. With this, you guys, I'm going to be making some um, spinach and some cornbread. That's what I'm going to have with this, you guys. This is going to be so delicious. Um, so we got that going. I'm going to turn it up to 250 like I said I was going to do. Turn her up a little bit right there, and then I'm going to cover it up again, and I won't mess with it again until we are ready to eat. Let me show y'all something else that I did last night and bring y'all around here. I My son is not doing beef uh, right now. Really, he's not doing beef or pork. He's only doing chicken and fish. So last night, I just took a um, <clears throat> package of chicken breast, boneless, skinless, chicken breasts okay and i just put them in uh put them in here i seasoned them with uh, pretty much the same seasonings that i used for uh my can y'all see that make sure y'all see that i used for the uh roast and uh these things are ready they've been cooking and they are super Tender and super flavorful. And he'll eat this with uh, the corn and the spinach that I'm going to make. But this was, this just, I didn't do nothing. Season it, put it in a crock pot, and left it. And this is just my regular little crock pot. I even got some little color on one of them. Like, look at that. You see that? 
Got some little brown back there. Honey, yes. Okay, cute. Okay, cute. Okay, you guys. So the next time I see you guys, I gotta get out of here. I will be um, showing you how everything turned out. I'll be plating it and showing you the tenderness of the um, of the roast and letting you know how delicious it is. I'll see you guys. Be blessed today. I love you guys. Okay. I can see you in a little while. So hey y'all, the roast is done, you guys. It is done. Let me show you how tender it is. Look at that, just coming apart. I keep the fat on my roast for the most part. I love that, um, the flavor it gives. Uh, but just look at this roast, you guys. I mean, it's just coming a loose. No effort at all with my little wooden spoon. Uh, let me see if you can tell what kind of gravy it is. It's not a thick gravy, you guys. And if you want it thicker, all you have to do is just make that roux, that little slurry that I made, just make it thicker. The thicker you make that slurry, the thicker your gravy is going to be. But I just wanted it to be darker and just a little bit thicker, okay? Look at it. Just, just coming apart, y'all. And this is it, you guys. We didn't have to do anything to it. You know, the pot, the oven, whatever does most of the work for us. I am done. I'm about to get out of these church clothes. I'm about to get ready for this game, Dallas Cowboy game. They'll probably lose. I don't even look forward to them winning anymore. <laughs> Let's see. Y'all see that thing? Look how delicious this looks, y'all. This is going to be so good. I'm going to show you guys um, my plate. Once I plate it all up, I will take a picture of the plate. But this is it, y'all. Roast beef pot roast 101, honey. This is the... This is good eating right here. Look at that. Look how good that looks. And it is tender, butter knife tender, you know. And I cannot wait. Like I told you guys, I fixed some spinach, some corn. I've got that chicken breast as well, and I've got some cornbread, you guys. I love me some cornbread. Y'all know that. And so this is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will uh, try this roast this way at least one time. And let me know what you think about this roast if you do try it. Um, remember to like comment share and subscribe and remember you guys your food is not all the way live until it's been readertized i will see you on the next one my readers eaters i love you guys thank you for watching bye